might not know the importance of using a GFCI outlet. In today's home improvement brought to you by Aero Service Team, we learn how it can keep you safe. And joining us now is Corey Hendricks with CHX Electric. Thank you so much, Corey, for being oh, with us today. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. All right, Corey, we have a pretty cool experiment set up right here for you to kind of demonstrate this idea. Should we go on and do it? Yeah, let me maybe just explain a little bit about what these things mm -hmm. actually do. So we got an idea. The GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. What does that mean? We're not going to go into that. <laughs> Can you point out which but one yes, it is? But so yes, this one here okay. is the ground fault circuit interrupter outlet. So it looks outlet. different, a little bit different. Yes, and you got a test and reset button on there. Mm -hmm. And I think, I'm pretty sure from my experience that most people just get frustrated because these things trip and they have no idea why. And I'm hoping to clear a little bit of that up with this experiment. Got it. So people might get frustrated, but it's really designed it's probably for, for your safety. Oh, um, yeah. You recommend having these outlets in throughout your home, especially where there's water, right? Yeah. Basements, potentially wet, bathrooms, uh, your kitchens, garage and outside maybe. and your laundry room oh yeah yeah so this little guy is representing us right yes it probably doesn't look as good as any <laughs> anybody in this room but yes that's what it's representing and one of the feet that that's in the soil would be representing if you had wet shoes or if you're walking around in slippers outside the ground is wet moisture a similar a similar condition to what you might run into um, out in your yard if you were picking up an extension cord and there was something that was not insulated perfectly which I will demonstrate by removing the wire nut and this this little green person touching that that live wire so yeah so this is the kind of experiment that's gonna demonstrate mm -hmm. to us how this protects you keeps you safe walk us through it Corey sure so so we have wire nuts falling out of my pocket, but th that's normal. <laughs> Dave, an electrician. So uh, this is just showing that we have power on that outlet right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show that if we take if we take this and we and I should mention that this is representing a ground rod, which every electrical panel is going to be connected to the earth. So this will is a way that you could complete the circuit so i would don't recommend trying this at home because that is live power but if we oh see so it's not it's not tripping the circuit breaker we still got power here but mm -hmm. that power is flowing through this little person so that would be you don't want that to be very yeah, dangerous so not good right. not good but if we if we plug it into the the gfci mm -hmm it instantly trips. Mm -hmm. So the other thing I, I want to show you is, and I should explain this a little bit as I'm setting this up, I would like to let the power flow through this electric meter and we can measure how much power is actually flowing and then I'll give you some numbers that make some sense of what the reading is. So we, we will get no, should get no power flowing on the GFCI and we can't even reset it because it doesn't like it's, it's sensitive enough that it turns off. But if we plug it into this one, we get about 22 milliamps, 21, 22 milliamps. And just for a frame of reference, um, I'm gonna kind of look at this table on my phone here from NIOSH and anyway, it's, it's a government agency that, that does a lot of testing, but one milliamp says you can barely feel it. 16 milliamps is about the level that you wouldn't be able to let go any higher than that. Oh, so we wow. are already over that level. And if you get to end at 20, which is where we're at, paralysis of respiratory muscles. Right, that's absolutely so terrible. Pretty, Don't even want to think about it. Pretty serious. We only have a little time left, Corey, so I want to ask you really quickly, if you want to upgrade to these outlets, the GFCI outlets, how would you go about doing that? What would you recommend to people? Well, they are a little different than a normal outlet. I don't recommend trying to do it yourself unless you consult with an electrician. You probably could find a video online if you did want to attempt it, but I do highly recommend for this type of outlet that, that you call a professional. 
and you could call me or any other electrician in the area and especially in those areas that are that are wet it's critical mm -hmm. and as this shows there's a big difference and in mm -hmm. fact a couple of little quick things i want to say there's it takes 4000 more times of the same power to trip a circuit breaker than it does to trip a GFCI, mm. that's wow. which that's really going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. These these trip at four to six milliamps. So, and your skin when it's wet has up to a thousand times less insulation mm. value than, than it normally does wow. when it's dry. So as soon as you become wet, you become extremely vulnerable to mm -hmm. to getting shocked. Just from one little strand, one little, one little strand right. is all is all it would take, and it would be bad news. So I, I'm um, believe very much in trying to help people have a more safe electrical insulation in their home and preventing these kind of hazards. Very good information, Thank Corey. Thank you so much for being with us today. And this has been Home Improvement, which is brought to you by Aero Service Team. For more information, you can head to Corey's website, www.chxelectric.com.